Hey everybody, this is Teslon for Drop the Top Keys. We're doing a real quick video today as more and more 124 Spiders are purchased by their second or third owner. We're seeing more and more questions in the forums that perhaps could have been answered in the owner's manual. But a lot of people now don't have the owner's manual. So I am going to show you that whether you've had the car from the beginning and owned the original manual or have bought it second hand or third hand and don't have a manual, you can download a manual from fiat.com and the manual you download is better than the one you got with the car. More pages, more information. So we're gonna go take a look at exactly how to get your manual downloaded as a PDF, or if you wish, you can order one from online for $40, but it's not gonna be as good as the one you download. So let's go see how to download the complete and unabridged owner's manual for a 124 Spider. Okay, so I just released my first video on this less than 24 hours ago. And uh, I've learned some things about it that I want to redo the video, make it a little bit more um, complete and factual with the information I've learned. So it is true you can get a bigger and better owner's manual on the Fiat site. So let's go there. Fiat.com. If you haven't been to the site before, it's probably going to ask you if you want to go to fiat.com, which is like the worldwide site, Fiat USA, and there's a third choice. I always put in Fiat USA because I'm in the USA. So once you get there, go to my Fiat here at the top. And then because I've always had my car registered in the original video, I said you have to go to the owner's sign-in site, but that's not true. Right below here, Owner's Manual and User's Guides. Click on that if you don't want to register your car. And then you have to select the vehicle. Click on the Fiat badge, the year, the model, and you can do 124 Spider, 124 Spider Abarth because the, the manuals are a little bit different. And then after you punch that in, select vehicle. And here you can download the manual, and we'll get to that in just a second. Or you can go down and order a printed manual. I don't want to go over this because this can trip you up a little bit. Because this is a Mopar site, it has all the different various cars that Mopar supports. So you'll see Alphas and Chryslers and Dodges and Rams, and eventually you get the Fiat. And then select what you want. You can get all of it. Or what you really want is the owner's manual, owner's man, the owner's manual. And you can see it costs 40 US dollars. And you get, if you could blow this up, this actually says owner's manual. The traditionally printed owner's manual. Now don't let this fool you. This is not what you get. When you buy the vehicle look at this user's guide this is the user's guide and that's why it's smaller it's not the owner's manual you do not get the owner's manual when you take possession of the vehicle you get the user's guide 42 pages less and i'll show you that in a second same thing with the abart this is the user's guide and that's what you get when you purchase the vehicle. The one, this owner's manual is actually more information in it. So let's look at this other one. Owner's manual kit. What's that? This, even though it says it's the owner's manual kit, is not the same. We're going to click at this to see what it is. And let's read the description, notice it doesn't say owner's manual here anymore, it says owner's information kit. Down the last line, it tells you what you get. The owner's information kit includes a user guide 
quick reference guide, warranty, customer arbitration, lemon law book, California emissions brochure, and portfolio. It is the exact package that you get with the vehicle. If you are collecting a car, you're going to keep it in climate controlled spot and keep it for 20 years to see if the value goes up. Having this would be what you want because that's what you come with the car, right? That's what comes with the car. So that if you're going for long term investment, this would be what you want to buy. If you want information on the car, here you're getting the same thing that you got when you purchased it. You want to make sure to order the owner's manual not the owner's manual kit so once again owner's manual gives you the expanded version of the user guide called the owner's manual the owner's manual kit gives you all the literature that came with the car when you bought it and then you'll get the shorter user's guide just so you're clear on that and that's the same with the abart as well so let's go see we'll go back to here and let's just pull up the manual and it'll say it says owner's manual on it now I know I've had somebody verify this somebody actually purchased this and says yes it is the actual owner's manual if you buy the $40 copy you get the real longer owner's manual if you buy the owner's manual kit which costs $50 you get the user's guide and we'll go through this just like we did in the first video. Let's go down here. A couple more pages. And I'll put this up on the screen. You'll see that the numbers here in this little short partial table of contents is not the same. That's because there's more information and more pages in this version than the other. As a matter of fact, If we go to that first page of information, which is keys, in the owner's manual, it's page 14. Now, this again is the 124 Classic Alyssa version. But in the user's guide that you get with the car, this is page 8. And we'll go here. This little section on operational range with the picture showing you where the, the interior antenna and the operational range is is not included in the user's guide and I'm flashing the user's guide section on the keys right there so you can see it's not there just a couple pages further and I'm sticking to things that are easy to see online so I'm just trying to show pictures this part about the operational range and the locking unlocking of the doors and trunk lid these graphics are not in the user's guide that you get with the car in the uh, they're in the owner's manual and so there's just a couple examples in the first eight pages of some information that you will find in the owner's manual that's not in the user's guide and it just all the way through the manual you'll see things like this where the owner's manual has more information sometimes text sometimes pictures that is not in the user's guide And then we'll go down to the end. Almost there. Okay. In the 124 Classica Spider US version of the owner's manual, there is 289 pages of information. In the user's guide that you get with the car, Two hundred forty seven pages. So let's go really quick over to and we'll look at the Abart version. See how many extra pages it has. And we'll just scroll to the bottom. I wonder how similar this is to the other one. Oh, it has an extra page. Two extra pages. The Abart version of the owner's manual has 291 pages. 
So it has just a little bit more than the classic Alyssa version. And the user guide that you get This is really weird. It has 223. The user's guide for the Abart has less pages than the user's guide for the uh, Classic Aluso. That's really weird. So if you have an Abart, 223, <laughs> good lord. That's 68 more pages of information and graphics on your car. 68. Definitely worth doing the free download. Now, because I have these both already in PDF form on the uh, DFW Fiat Club, Fiat Club America site that I maintain, um, I have the links to these manuals included in the description of this video. So if you don't want to go to the Fiat site, and go through the few clicks you need to do to get the manuals just go to the description of the video click on them and then you can just save it you know you just save it up here you can download it to your computer from my link save you a few clicks and uh, hey there you go so if you don't already have an owner's manual for your classic Alyssa or a Bart you can either follow the links below the video or go to fiat.com and download it yourself. For the Abart, you're going to get 83 extra, what did it, not 83, 68 extra pages. For the Classic Alyssa, you're going to get 42 extra pages. So a lot more information on your vehicle. Um, whether you have the user guide that came with the car or not, this is really a good thing to go download if you take the time to read them. Like, I'm a bit of a nerd and a car enthusiast. I read mine front to back. And uh, when I registered my car on Fiat site if, to put it in my garage, I just looked at the owner's manual. And the first thing I noticed was, wait a second, there's some stuff in here I don't remember seeing in mine. And so I researched it further. And like if you re do my other videos, you'll see in my hints, tips, and whatever for Spider number one, I tell you there's a better guide online. But I never actually looked into it deeper to see why there was a difference and now i know so i'm trying to pass this on and uh, help keep everybody in the community out there better informed about their vehicles i know a lot of us want to keep our cars as long as we can because they're awesome to have and drive and uh having more information on it helps make that possible so there you go if you like the video thumbs up hit subscribe and i'll see you again probably right after news. <laughs>